hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is jane and you're welcome to jane by design on this channel i upload pattern drafting and sewing tutorial if you're new to my channel you're welcome thank you for stopping by if you're an og thank you for sticking by me i appreciate so today we'll be learning how to make a trendy scrunchy headband it's very easy it's beginner friendly and something you could make in less than 10 minutes okay so just stick back relax and enjoy and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel recommend this channel to your friends and i'll see you in my next one now you, need, you will be needing the following materials i have a satin i have my scissors my tape and i also have an elastic now for your fabric you can use any kind of fabric of your choice it will definitely come out beautiful now i'm going to be using um, a satin fabric i have a satin fabric here and you will be needing three like rectangle for this tutorial the first will be for the main piece the second will be for the um elastic and elastic casing and the third will be for the lining now for the main piece the length that i'll be working with is 35 inch i'll just mark 35 inch on my fabric and the width that I'll be working with is six inches now you can go higher or lower than that but I don't think you should go lower if you go lower it will be too small so six inch should be the lowest you should go and 10 or 18 should be like the highest I think now I'll be making use of six inches for this and I'll just go ahead and mark six inch all across my pattern and the next thing I'm going to just connect the points together and after that, we're going to cut out the first rectangle, which is going to be the main piece, which is going to be the main piece of this headband. So now we are done cutting it out. Next, we're going to move to the second rectangle. Now for the second rectangle, we'll be needing the length of 15 inches. The second rectangle will be needing the length of 15 inches and the width will be four inches so i'll be marking 15 inches on my fabric and the length the width will be four inches so i'll do the same thing like i did for the main um piece i'm going to just mark it all across and then connect it with my pattern master connect the lines with my pattern master and next up we are going to go ahead and cut out and that's it for the second piece which is going to be for the elastic okay so for the third rectangle, um, I'll be making use of um, three inches for the width of the third rectangle, which is going to serve as the lining, the inner lining for the main piece. So I'll mark three inches for the width of the third rectangle and also the length of 15 inches for the third rectangle. And I'll go ahead and connect the points as shown and then use my scissors to cut it out after we are done cutting out the third piece i'll be laying them all flat on the table so that you see what we have that's the main piece the first big piece which is 35 inch in length and six inch in width the second one is three inches four inches in length in width and 15 inches in length and then the third one is three inches in width and 15 inches in length now we're going to move to cutting out the elastic for my elastic and because my scrunchy headband is kind of on the smaller sides i'll be using six inches for the length of the elastic and the elastic i'm working with is one inch so i'll go ahead and measure one inch on the elastic and then i will just go ahead and cut that out so after i have cut that out next we're going to go ahead and start assembling all of our pieces together so now we're going to go ahead and um stitch close the tunnel for the elastic so we're just going to fold the dry sides together and we're going to stitch by 0 0.25 inch we'll do the same thing for the main fabric we're going to fold it sorry turn it over fold it over sorry and then stitch it close by 0 0.25 inch as well so after we have stitched it this is what it looks like you can see the stitches that i have on it next what i'm going to do is to use a toner to turn it inside out that is right sides out so that the right sides will be facing us will be facing outside after we've turned the main piece and the casing for the elastic inside out and this is what the good side looks like we've revealed the right side of the main piece and the elastic casing next we're going to go ahead and start feeding the elastic into the casing 
now for you to do that you need an elastic pin so sorry you need a safety pin <laughs> okay the elastic pin you need a safety pin for this so you attach um, your safety pin to one edge of the elastic and then you pass it through the casing now before you continue passing it into the casing you need to secure one edge of the elastic and the main fabric with the pin so that as you are passing it into the casing it doesn't um, get lost into the channel and you don't have to start all over looking for it so you're going to just secure that edge with a pin and there you go ahead and start continue passing it until it comes out through the other side of the channel so when it comes out through the other side of the channel you need to just go ahead and remove the pin remove the safety pin and next you are going to be sewing we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we are going to sew down the elastic to the main piece together at both sides so at the two open edges of this casing we're going to go ahead and sew the elastic down to the main fabric so that it doesn't move around and it's in place. moving to the main piece what we'll do for the main piece is the same thing we did for the elastic and the elastic casing now you take your main piece and then you take the lining piece that we cut out 3 by 15 remember the third rectangle that we cut out which is 3 inches by 15 inches here which is going to be the lining piece okay so now you take that and you're going to secure one edge of this piece with uh with your safety pin okay because we're going to be attaching it into the main um fabric that's the main piece so now as you're attaching it in we're going to go ahead and secure one edge of the main piece so that it also it doesn't get lost into the casing so we just use a pin to just hold on that edge there after you've held down that edge there you're going to continue passing it in until you uh, get to the end of the other side of the fabric okay so as you can see as i'm passing the lining piece inside the main fabric you can see that the scrunchy effect is coming up gradually and after we've done that we're going to go ahead and secure the both ends on our sewing machine we're going to go stitch the both ends close so that the lining piece stays inside the main fabric so now we've gotten all of our pieces together we've gotten the elastic inside the elastic casing and the lining piece inside the main fabric now we're going to attach these two together and to do that you take the elastic and you place it on top of the main fabric and then you're going to go ahead and overlap this. you can just see the way i just did that i just folded the both sides together and then i'm going to go ahead and secure it with a pin i'm doing that again so that you can see how i did it so if you did this overlap at the end of the day when you stitch it down and turn it over the raw edges of your stitches will not be visible so I'm going to go ahead and just hold down this part with a pin. I'll repeat the same step uh, at the other side as well. I'm just going to go over it again. Okay, just pay attention to this part because this is the kind of a tricky part here. So just take this the elastic casing, okay, the elastic and place it on the main fabric and then you just overlap it. Just fold it one side and take the other side and just do an overlap, okay. And when you do that you take it to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch the both ends together okay so after i have stitched it down and this is what i have i'm going to go ahead and cut out the raw edges that's the excess i have after stitching down and i will now turn it inside out so that you can see what our scrunchie looks like so i'll turn the raw edge inside and you see that the scrunchie effect kind of hides the um the raw edges that we have the stitches that we have and guys this is what the scrunchie look like i have also previously made a bigger one so whatever your choice or preference is you can decide to go bigger or smaller whichever one you have you want okay it will still look beautiful and perfect still come out perfect hey guys so we've come to the end of this video i hope you like and you enjoyed this video if you did please do not forget to thumbs up this video thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and please recommend my channel to your friends and please 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 subscribe and like 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 all right guys i see you in my next video so have a lovely day and remain positive and blessed wherever you are bye